Hello, intrepid viewers. I'm Lena from Tarot Down Under, and my special guest today, our fairy godmother, Psychic Violetta. Thank you, <laughs> you Lena, for that wonderful name for me. I, I was so happy hearing that, and I thought, oh my God, so nice and kind of you. Thank you. And uh, thank you, my viewers. Yes. My lovely friends from all over, from all over the world. So, so we've we got love nice coming <laughs> from the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere here today. <laughs> so that's good. Yes. From the, <laughs> we still have snow a little bit outside. Oh, how cute. All right, <laughs> we should start. Because we've got, yes. Shall I start and ask you a question, Violetta? Yes, yes. All right, my first question concerns Russia. I'd just be interested in your impressions what? about Russia. I didn't hear it for Russia, okay. All right, and I'd like to know your impressions on how you feel um, things are going in Russia now with the virus and other things. So what is happening in Russia now? Well, I see people wearing uniforms like bee, people who are working with bees, you know, they have that kind of uniform. So it's the same related to, to the virus. They are, it's flooded, it's flooding them. Oh. It's like pouring on them to the point that they are standing under the armpits. Putin is watching from balcony and, you know, sending everyone. It's overwhelming. Mm. Russian people have a problem with alcohol and partying. My ah. husband went to, to Russia in the 70s and he said, from morning to evening, they just eat and drink. And I heard that back in those days, vodka was cheaper than milk. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or it was a Western myth. <laughs> they were making a lot of booze, sunshine booze. Yes. So it was the easier way for the government to control them. Yes. Yes, I see. And they are in trouble. Yes, those Oh, you froze there for a moment. Can you hear me, Violetta? Violetta, can you hear me? Oh, I haven't had a freeze oh. on Zoom before. I'm so sorry, viewers. Could you just repeat that last bit, Violetta? And I said, what did I say? That they are, every, you know, having problems everywhere, pulling bodies, uh, you know, those people with the outfits, they are just taking bodies to the morgues or whatever. Oh, dear. So there is a horrific situation in Russia. Mm, I had a feeling it wouldn't be good. Oh, dear. And because of the control, of, they might not let us know. Yes, we and might never know. Yeah. I had only one person from Russia for a reading in two years, uh, since mm. I'm doing those readings, three, two and a half or three years. Uh, only one. And that yeah. person had a ability to, to live outside of Russia most of the time. Yes. So right. the same with China, you know, there's a teachers from China could connect mm. with, for the readings. Otherwise, those people are not allowed to watch us. Yes. All right. Have you got a question for me? Yes. About Cuomo. Where is that one? Put the glasses, girl, because okay, this one will be 
Marci Masis. What is the communist Chinese leader up to? Because uh, okay, let's have oh, a look. Marci Masis is the question, uh, the, the person who is sending question. Mm -hmm. uh, asking questions. So All right. She's asking, let's see what what's is the happening. Communist leader thinking about this? Mm. What's happening with China? What's happening with China? Well, all swords to begin with, <laughs> swords, swords, swords. So let's put it this way. They're struggling with the truth at the moment, <laughs> both with their, all, their own people and the West. This is the queen of swords here trying to speak to truth. I think the government is trying to do the right thing, but they are still a one party state. So um, it's, there's still total control of the media to a large extent. I think they're still in retreat in the sense, like everywhere, Violetta, they're trying to work out how to open up again safely but they're still in retreat they were very scarred i think by this experience and they're being much more careful than they would have been otherwise it's causing a lot of pain and heartache i think to g the leaders as well as the people i think he actually did a postgraduate degree in australia he speaks very good english he actually has a very good grasp on the West. And I think he's very uncomfortable with this um, development, with Trump being so rude and vile and unpredictable. But I think it will come out all right. It, it will come out all right. Who knows when? Everyone is looking for the formula, aren't they? How to go back. Because I heard that they have the most Sorry, it's a bit hard to hear. I heard that they have demonstrations of protesters in China. Did you ever hear about that? No, I haven't heard about that. And oh. that's so un-Chinese, but I heard that they, after that uh, virus was spreading, people were starting demonstrating. Yes, they've got to be very careful. Yeah, how to... some, but who knows if those are real stories? That's yes, another. yes. So, so I've maybe... got another question for you. Okay. So for some reason, France is um, experiencing a very high toll of deaths for what is going on for a country with a good medical system and everything it's it no one can really work out why it's so high in france so with the same numbers of people um in other countries their actual death toll is higher i was wondering if you could pick up on anything for france It's like a real turning. It's like on a lock, you know, for the safe, you have those wheels turning. And I see Italy, the same food, the same things that they are eating, very much the same style of life. Mm. Spain, Italy, they have very much the same attitude for life. When I was in France, people were, sit, were sitting outside in the coffee places. They love to socialize. Yes. yes. And maybe, you know, the acidity drinks like wine or alcohol are accelerating that. Yes, maybe they get careless, you know. Yes. Because be. AT is like, you know, 
the same lock the sa on the safe you have that kind of locking device mm -hmm. so it's the same thing german loves beer and they they were affected really hardly but they are keeping low amount of people dying uh -huh. are they keeping them still sick because we don't know how many went out of hospitals we just that see how sense. many is sick but in canada less than 50 percent people who are sick got healthy but more like 55 percent are still sick sick for those few six weeks or five weeks so we don't have that much death but when people will be taken from the mask um, uh, from the hospitals that can change and that worries me and i think no one is being honest about the numbers because we only count hospital deaths not nursing home deaths and not deaths at home everywhere so mm -hmm. The figures are higher. And Trump don't want us to know too much. No. Canada is mostly honest. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of believe in the system mm -hmm. in, in Canada. Okay. Uh, and they put a net on us, stay at home, don't do anything. Yesterday I went to sh shopping at the Walmart. I was so thrilled. <laughs> to be around people i know and what a feeling you know to to talk with someone asking questions uh, about laptop iphone oh, not laptop about the um, tablet yes it was something that we're all starving oh, we're starving for other people i, oh, I love to my husband is saying, I want to be with people. I want to go for a party to the store to talk with people. I know, yeah. I know. All right, have um, you got another question for me? Yes, I have a question. Barbara Gregg, will Como be, for, will Como be a president, Andrew Como, and Stacey Abrams for vice president? Cuomo for president and Stacey for vice president, yes? <laughs> yes. Let's see with Cuomo. I read on Cuomo recently with this issue. We'll see if we get the same cards or a different story. Cuomo, no, okay. will he go for president? <laughs> will he go for president? Uh. Look, the offer is there for him, but it's similar to what I got in, uh, in my own reading, that A, he doesn't really want to do it, but there's pressure on him, a bit like Biden. I feel Biden's only doing it because everyone said, you're the one people trust. And now that is being applied to Cuomo. So, he's under pressure to think about it but when he thinks about it it's too much emotion he's very emotionally invested in his role in new york and it's too much to think about this is the offer to please do this Cuomo. but he's very conflicted and when i did the other reading which wasn't long ago on him I got the Queen of Cups and I thought it was his wife, but he doesn't have one at the moment. So I, I'd say that's his mother. His mother, I think, is saying, no, not after Trump. I think it might have been different if this had happened and there was a normal Republican president. He might go, oh, okay, you know, I come from a political family, I could do this. But I think he doesn't want to follow Trump. Who would? You know, the mess, the chaos. Yes. I know him as a symbol of power. Yes. Who loves people. He is a huge yes. loved by people, but he's waiting. 
and I had a vision before about him, and I saw him doing that with his hands. Yes. But Pan is saying, a few days ago, two, three days ago, two, two days ago, when he had that big confrontation with Trump, Yes. he said, what if I will say that I'm washing my hands of uh, doing this? Yeah. So I thought, oh, I see that movement. So maybe yes. he will now start rethinking. Hopefully, he might want to, but yes. people will love him. If he will put his name on the ballot, there is no way that he wouldn't win. Biden yes, it's like that. It's like that. Yes. So it's... All so right. Know? I have another question for you now. I've had a feeling for a long while Republican women are beginning to break away from Trump. They don't like him. So I'd like to ask you, what is, is there anything in that? Are Republican women turning away from Trump or not? Most of them are behind the husbands, but they feel like they are disgusted with those macho guys yes. who are telling them what to do, what to say. So they might not be officially saying this openly, mm -hmm. but when it will be coming to the voting, they will hope because they will be not traceable. It's, that's exactly what I got when I read on it. They're not going to argue with their husbands and their brothers and their nephews. They're just going to nod and then they're going to vote. Yeah, because they feel like they are in behind, left by the men that they can't really respect. It's and interesting, then they see isn't that it? In their own lands, that they are not respectable if they are so focused uh, on Trump. Mm. Fascinating. I have a question uh, about yes. Hillary Clinton. Ah. You know that Senate started to, in the, uh, to making the open investigation with about Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. I saw a little bit today and they are saying one ten of percent of her foundation donors pay 80% of the whole foundation. So just 20% mm -hmm. was by the 199.9% of donors. Uh -huh. So just a small amount of donors were holding her like a puppet. Uh -huh. What do you think about that? How that will end it? Will she be charged with sell, play, uh, pay for play? Yeah. Yeah. I, Trump used that word and I learned that from him. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Will Hillary have any legal problems with the foundation? Hillary has legal problems. Mm. I think she'll be all right. Um, there is legal stuff coming up. So in other words, they will keep pushing this, you know. Um, this, I think, refers to her marriage actually to Bill because it's their foundation. So although Trump wants to destroy Hillary, it's about both of them. So they'll both be investigated again. What my problem with the, the Clinton stuff is, it, I didn't like what happened with Uranium One or whatever it was and stuff. It, it wasn't morally very high ground, but 
I don't think it's actually illegal. So this is the problem. This is the emperor. This is Trump, I think, abusing justice to go there again to take everyone's attention off his own foundation. But I think she'll be all right in the end. You know, sanity mm -hmm. will prevail and she'll have enough allies and legally I think it will resolve. So it's a bit like Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden's story. What he did was a child of privilege. He gets this top job, all of that, but it's not illegal. And I don't see anything that will be really harmful to her. No, she I don't know. was responsible. Yeah. She will feel like she is a hermit, wiser and smarter because of that. And Angel of Love will watch, protect her. So Yes, well, we virtually got the same with that. It yeah. will be a case. <laughs> they will go ahead with it, but I don't think it will go anywhere. Do you feel that... Sorry, can I yeah. ask? Yes. Yeah. Uh, feel that uh, Biden's story will be still investigated by Trump? I'm sure he's going to pull. I'm just talking now as a commentator, not a tarot reader. He will go for everybody. And I think Biden will be tarnished in some way, but it won't be fatal. You know, so it'll be messy and it will give ammunition to some people. But I think with Biden too, you're going to see a lot of pictures of him kissing women and, you know, all of that uh, stuff. Redort from under the house, he will pull it to, to put the mud on him. Yes. So I think there'll be a bit of mud, but I, I don't think people are going to not vote for Biden because of it, you know. Yeah. Okay. Now, no, I've ready. got another question for you, and it's a big question, if you like. <laughs> so what do you think? How will the virus change us in all sorts of ways? What? How will the, this experience with COVID and the virus, how will it change us as people, people in the world? It's like everyone will be feeling that they are sacrificing something. You know, old times when they were carrying some sacrifices for the altar. Yes. Everyone will feel that they have to sacrifice something for the better tomorrow. Yeah, that is. People will start thinking more about others, how to mm. affect the world. Primitive people will carry sometimes even animals. That's what I'm seeing, you know. Mm. Carry something to sacrifice. Now they will be sacrificing a lot of things for for the environment. Mm -hmm. They will start thinking that that environment is in our hands. We have to think about the rain, and that's what they were doing. Primitive people would put the sacrifice so the rain will come. Mm. Uh, there will be for, for economy. They would rather work harder and make less money, but produce the stuff in Canada, in USA, in Australia, yes. instead of being dependent. Mm -hmm. How come we can't even produce gloves or masks? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yes. yes. Those are not high-tech items. No. They will, have, they will have to start thinking what they were doing for the last 20 few years since Clinton actually. Well, Kissinger started that movement to move everything to China, so they will be. Yeah, it was Reagan and then Kissinger and stuff. Yes, yes. yes. And, and they the, all made a fortune. Gate. Oh, they may, but they opened the gate of the yeah. factories going that way yeah. instead of staying in other countries and That's every right. country depends on them 
and people will now think, okay, I might not have this or that, but I will be working. I want to work and they will appreciate, everyone will appreciate that the work is so important to every one of us. Yes. Oh, so well, that's a beautiful message. Thank you, but it will change. I saw just uh, someone carry the offer. Yes, basically, and we do. We have to sacrifice for the greater good. Yeah. For everyone else, you know, we, we are not only thinking about ourselves. Maybe we are immune to that. Maybe we should be going and having a good time. Everyone thinks, okay. I felt really like a little kid yesterday going out. I had the mask and the gloves. Yes. But I like... I'm glad you wear the gloves too. I think people are wearing masks but not gloves. You need to but wear... But you can't buy the gloves. Yeah. You can't buy the gloves. I anymore. know. It's hard. I, I've got a so, big pile of surgical gloves, but we need more gloves. Yeah. Yeah. And how come they can't... Even the plastic ones like the... Mm. Yeah. Oh, it just froze again. Violetta, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I'm sorry, viewers. We've had a freeze again. Oh, we are coming to the end. Your internet yes. connection is unstable. All right. Okay, so maybe we'll finish this. Lina, thank you. I love you, girl. You are so wonderful. <laughs> thank you. And I, I adore you. you. So much knowledge about everything, about the political and economic stuff. I'm psychic. I'm just using my intuition. <laughs> but you are so knowledgeable and I love to just educate myself from your programs. Oh, thank you so much. And I adore you. And thank you for coming and doing this video. Thank you oh, so thank much. Thank you for, for being for me. Thank <laughs> you. And good luck tomorrow with the video. Well, thank you thank very you much. Also. And everyone, bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you again, Violetta. Bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye. How is